Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video we have seen how to pause and unpause the song using the same button. Now in this video we are going to see how to seek the song that is how to move the song forward and backward when we manually move the scale widget. So let's see how to do this. So here we will create the function progress scale moved that will be triggered whenever we move the scale widget. So progress scale moved. Now at the instant when this function is called what we want to do is first cancel the updater which is continuously moving. Now for that we will do self dot root dot after cancel. Now after cancelling the updater we need to get that point till which the scale widget has been moved. So we need to get the scale position scale at and we will do self dot progress scale dot get. It will give the current position. Now after this we will get the song name that is current song that is playing self dot songs list dot get and here we will provide the active parameter now this is a song name now we need to just get the song with path so that we can play it so for the path we need to iterate through our directory list so we will do for dict io in self dot directory list and we will compare if the song is equal to what we have stored in the song name so we will do if dict io here we will provide the song if it is equal to the song name then we need to store the dict io path in the directory path so directory path equals to dict io path now we have got the song name and directory path now we just need to use the pygame module and load the song so we will do pygame dot mixer dot music dot load and here we provide the complete path of the song that will be an f string here and here we will be and then the directory path and we will attach the song name with it song name now we have loaded the song now what we want is to play the song from the point till which we have moved the scale widget that is from the scale at position now we can do this by using the pygame dot mixer dot music dot play now this play function it takes the first parameter as the loop whether we want to repeat this song or just play one time so zero is a default value which means just play the song once and it will not repeat now after this we need to give the start position so here start position will be our scale at that's it now after this uh, the song will start playing from this position now after playing this we need to call the scale update function so that the scale again starts moving so self dot scale update that's all we need to do in this function now uh, we need to specify this function in the progress scale so that whenever we move the scale this function is triggered so let's copy this and paste it here it will be in the progress scale section here in this ttk scale so instead of command here will be our progress scale moved self dot progress scale moved now i think it should work fine let's run the code now let's add the song here So when we moved the scale widget, there was an error here. Progress scale moved takes one positional argument but two were given. So whenever we move the scale widget, it passes an argument to the function we are calling. So let's go to the function progress scale moved and here we will accept an argument here as x. Now it should work fine here. Let's run the code again. Let's add the song. So you have seen whenever we move the scale widget here, the song moves as well and the time elapsed table also changes accordingly. So this is how we actually code the progress scale moving functionality here. Now from the next video, I will show how to actually implement the autoplay functionality and the repeat one. So that's it for this video. We'll meet in the next one. Bye bye.